make sure there we go okay i always got to check my audio because i never know when when it's on or off like uh i'll turn it on then i'll turn it off and then sometimes i'll start recording and won't even get anything that i'm that i'm saying so uh, i'm trying to avoid that so i do apologize with the oh and like the lens is all nasty and currently there's no one here even though there was a few people some people i met before and someone new that i met which he's actually leaving right now Today we're reviewing this new build that I made. You saw it in the B-roll in the beginning, just kind of showing the build. I'm using the Newbie, Newbie drone stack. It's the 20 by 20 stack that Cricket is flying. The only difference is I'm using analog. So um, yeah, I don't have DJI. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still old school here. Maybe I kind of like analog currently. Uh, I'm sure it's great. And I'm sure if I switch, I'll probably ne never want to see analog again, but Right now, I'm happy with what I got. Also, this Fox here camera in the front, I think it's called the Falcor. Absolutely amazing. I guess, depending on your field of view and, and all that, like how you like it, that one has a really wide field of view and all the colors are vivid, it's beautiful. It's really nice. I'm gonna get some flights done here with uh, the newbie drone. If I have any errors or issues with that, I'll go ahead and switch to my Banggod frame because that one I know is working just fine. This is my first time flying here, so don't expect the the footage to be superb i'm kind of i need to i need to fill this area out and there's a lot of stuff too like over there you got like this this um almost like a abandoned parking lot almost then over here you have like all these trees and and little gaps over here so for anyone wanting to visit trotters it's it's pretty nice oh something else hold on let me let me run over here real quick because um even though you have these trees here, I wouldn't recommend flying near these trees because there's a, a lake over on the other side. I kind of keep the, the, the flying to this area and I use these trees as my gaps and stuff. If you come over here to the other side, and it seems like someone is posted up up there right now, but if you come, whew, get out of here trees, buy me dinner first, jeez. Anyway, if you come over here, another open field. So uh pretty awesome spot i think i think i'm gonna frequent this one a lot more often so thank you to the fpv community who who told me about this place it's a nice little change of scenery it's nice to not have to go back to the econ park even though i still like that place i just need to i need to find some new stuff okay i feel like i can't progress if i'm flying in the same spot over and over the problem is when i get to editing it's like I've already edited that footage because I'm looking at all the stuff and I'm like, oh, okay, this is cool. I did this, I did that already. Um, so unless I'm doing new moves in that place, not really interesting footage. Oh, also it's been about two weeks since I've flown. So yeah, it's been raining in Florida. I got this, I ended up getting silicone conformal coating on my, on my mic. I'm, I'm trying to pull it off. It, it is, it, it's gonna leave it, it's fine, you know. Gives it a nice touch of this bluish creamy like a thing anyway um time to fly it's been it's been real um otherwise yeah enjoy the video
I did say review, so let me kind of throw some things in the mix or maybe some things that I saw with the newbie drone. Number one, it flies absolutely smooth. It was flying good until I crashed like twice and then I got this weird um, mid throttle oscillation. So it was kind of vibrating when I was um, hovering. I don't know if it's just the camera, maybe the FBV camera is loose and that's what, what I saw maybe, but I'm gonna review the footage. You may already see it, so I'm hoping it's good. If it's not, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I'm gonna head back home, try to figure out what could be causing that. Um, I'll probably have to jump into my my camera and see if uh, if I knocked any bits loose. I'm glad it's not raining, you know? Um, I didn't fly in about two weeks and that's because it's been, it's been raining. So I do apologize that I haven't been posting anything on the channel. It is a pretty good day aside from those angry clouds up there. Also, during the beginning of the video, you saw the 3D printed stuff that I was, that I was making. That's for, that's for the foreplay prop. So if anyone flies these foreplay props and you want the STL file, reach out to me, leave a comment down in the comment section and um, I'll let you know how to get yourself a pair of these. It works pretty good. It's a little bit loud with all the clattering of the, the props and the package, but aside from that, if you put like some kind of insulator or even if you put like Uma Grip or something in it, I think that should dampen the sound just a little bit. It's up to you if you want it. Again, leave a comment down in the description. If you're new to this channel and you like what you see today, please be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you know, um, I don't know. Have a good day. If you don't, if you don't subscribe, I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm not mad at you, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's not like I need it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm exhausted. Uh, I had a great day of flying today. I'm gonna try to fly again tomorrow. Again, if you want those STL files for the four play props, I don't know. I don't know a lot of people that fly them, but um, I do uh, like the pilots that I that I ran into today. They all said that those props are absolutely amazing, but no one was flying it. So there we go. Yeah, no one was flying it but me. Uh, I really like those props. If you want those STL files, leave a comment. Take it easy. It's been real. I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.